I'm Herman White. I'm a scientist at Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, and this is my 43rd year as a member of the scientific staff. We had a effort at our laboratory to bring students who came from undergraduate institutions that did not have high energy physics to Fermilab. In 1971, as a matter of fact, I gave uh, one of my first talks at, from Argonne Laboratory here to a number of those students. Well, in 1979, I noticed something along with the facilitator of one of our programs, Dr. James Davenport, that many of our students who were going to be the ambassadors to their fellow students when they went back to school did not understand essentially what we were actually doing at Fermilab. They got the experience, but they didn't quite understand how it is that we actually were doing the kind of research that we were doing. So we came up with this idea that somehow we needed to have more of a formal, a semi-formal academic activity for the students. And I went to the new director of the laboratory, Leon Letterman at that time, and made a suggestion about the, making sure the students knew the difference between a pion and a proton. Now, of course, some might have interpreted this as a complaint, but of course it wasn't. Uh, but within a few days, the laboratory director came back to me uh, and said, I think you have something there and it's a good idea, so you should give us a solution to this problem by the end of next week. And which was uh, after the shock wore off, um, I began to think about, along with many of my colleagues, how we actually would, might do that, not just for the students who came from the undergraduate institution that didn't have particle physics, but the students who cut the grass, the people who came from major institutions who were just pulling computer uh, cables and that sort of thing for the experiments. So we started what was then called the Summer Student Lectures on Particle Physics. And this was a series of lectures that were given over a 10-week period, covering all the aspects of high energy physics at Fermilab. This was one of the first of its kind at any national laboratory in the country, and we were very, very proud of it. Uh, one of the caveats, of course, when I went back to explain this to the director that this was my solution, was that he had to give the first lecture in this lecture series, which of course, being that he was very passionate about education, he did consistently for 10 years that he was director of the lab. So the moral to this story, don't complain to directors because you have to have a solution before you make the complaint.